images print. Hi guys, let's say you took a wonderful photo and edited it in Photoshop. And now you want to print it. You want to print out the results of your creativity. It's not difficult, but still you need to know some nuances here. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that now we'll only talk about home printing of images. Because when it comes to printing images on an industrial scale, this is a completely different story. This requires a separate special training and specialists who are trained. They are called Prepress Specialists. But we'll not touch this difficult occupation. But we'll talk exclusively about home printing. In addition to the printer, you'll certainly need photo paper. If you want your images to be really high quality printed. It can be different, it can be matte, it can be glossy, it can be of different thickness. And if you have a good printer, that implies high quality color printing. Then in this case, various paper options that you'll need to choose will be displayed in the print settings. The printed images may differ in color from what you see on the monitor. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, of course, the images always look bright on the monitor, simply due to the fact that it is highlighted. But there are other reasons. The monitor doesn't always reflect the colors as they are, and in order for it to reflect them perfectly, it is necessary to calibrate the monitor. If it becomes necessary, then you need to use the services of a specialist for this. In addition, you can configure a special profile so that the printer and monitor work as if in a single bundle. But even so, when you change the photo paper, the image will be slightly different. In general, this is a very subtle science. But don't be scared, not everything is so scary. As a rule, the images are still quite good. And we are talking now about how to achieve absolute identity between the image on the monitor and the image on the printed photos. Let's say we would like to print this image. What do we need to do for this? By the way, I want to remind you that you need to add a sharpness just before you are going to print. That is, at the very last stage. So, everything is done and we are going to print. The image resolution is very important. And if we print a small photo, for example, 10 by 15 or 12 by 18 or even A4 format, then we need to set the resolution to 300 pixels. But starting from A3 format and then A2 and A1, we can reduce the resolution and set it for example 150. Remember, the larger the size of your image, the smaller the resolution should be. If you make for example a huge 3x6 banner, then the resolution may even be 50 pixels. Of course, the print quality in this case will be worse. Technically worse. But after all, no one looks at such large images for a close distance. And from a distance there will be no quality flaws. And if you try to save 300 pixels per inch for a very large image, then the file may simply be heavy and huge, and it will simply be impossible to work with it. Let's go back to our image and see what resolution we have here. Image, the size of the image. And that's what we have. We have a resolution of 300 pixels. And at this resolution, without loss of quality, we could print this image 62 by 41 centimeters, approximately. And now let's try to change the resolution. Now let's set the resolution to 50 and return the white value. And see how the options of printed size have changed. Almost 2.5 by almost 4 meters. Here is an interesting trick. But I will not apply these changes. I will click cancel. This is how we could prepare our photo for printing in a very large format. And now let's see how we can prepare the same photo for printing in size 10 by 15. To do this, we'll use the crop tool. We choose it. Next in the settings, select the width and height of the resolution. So we will have 150 in width, 100 in height, and a resolution of 300 pixels. That's how our image has shrunk. And this is how we can prepare a whole series of our photos in order to take them to the printout. If we don't do it at home, and we can do this size reduction operation as an action and perform batch processing. Like that. If you want to save the settings that you have set for the crop tool, then you can go here. Select a new crop set. Set parameters. Well, let them be like this. And click OK. After that, you will have a new crop set, which you can use. And you won't need to re-enter all this data. And now, finally, we will send our image to print. File and choose print. After that, you will have a dialog box for your printer settings. This dialog box will look different depending on which printer you have installed. Here you choose the printer that you have. 
set the number of copies of the vertical or horizontal image. I have horizontal and adjust print options. I don't have much here, but if you have some good photo printer, then you have a lot of settings. You will specify a portrait or landscape. You will select the type of paper you will be printing on. There you will see just a huge list of photo papers. Well, you will see various other settings there too. After that we press print and all our images begin to print. We have reached the finish line and now your images are already being printed and our course is coming to an end. I sincerely wish you don't stop and go on to the top of Photoshop. It was Peter Romanov and AIM School. See you soon.